guys, this is Melody and my husband Justin. We are here from Happy Home Crafts and my husband made me the most beautiful benches for our kitchen table. Technically, we're just gonna make one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but we liked it so much and everybody gave us so many compliments as opposed to the chairs that we have other people sit in, that we went ahead and figured we need another one. And since he was gonna make it, yes. they are <laughs> <laughs> they're extremely inexpensive to make. It's about $30 worth of materials. Yes, and I the only power tools I used were the pneumatic stapler and nailer. Nice. Yeah, I, I just used I could do that. Yes. If left alone in your shed for long enough, I too could build all the things. This is true, yes. <laughs> in my workshop. Do you have a first aid kit? <laughs> I do actually have a first aid kit in there. Then I'm set. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, or if you'd like to see us make anything in particular, we'd love to hear about that down below in the comment section. Or just stop in and say hi. We're new, we're getting off our feet, and we really love comments. So it's kind of exciting. And if you like this kind of video, please like. And if you like us, subscribe. Now go build something. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Here's the lumber that I used for this project. It's pine. I got it from Home Depot. I really like it. And it was a good price. It worked out really well. So it's it's a, it was an adventure. I, and I, I really enjoyed making this bench. It's, it's fun. Here I am making the seat. And I'm doing this now. I'm doing this as the first thing. The reason why I'm doing this is so that I can glue it because it's going to have to dry overnight. So I'm going to make the cuts here. You can make it any size you want. It's just I went 52 inches because that fits nicely underneath the kitchen table for mm -hmm. me. Yeah, make it whatever size you want to. But you're going to do it, what, like inch, inch and a half short at this portion? Yes. Uh, cause because we're going to frame it out. Right, exactly. Which is the prettiest part of the bench, I think. It is pretty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I, so you I, cut these all up. Uh-huh, and there's my saw. I love that saw. It's a craftsman. It is. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful craftsman. We I, both used to work at Sears. Really? I worked at Sears as an appliance guy, so I, didn't, no, I was never actually in Sears. I, I, I worked there, too. Well, you were, yeah, you were on the, the sales floor too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, so you got to actually see those all the time. Totally. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know where the craftsman went. I think Lowe's bought craftsman. I don't know if Sears is okay. Or is Sears gone? I think Sears is gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure Lowe's took over craftsman. No, well, I hope so. That's cool. Oh, that's a speed square. I love the speed square. Well, okay. it's, it's not a speed square. They, I guess they so call it. Right a, now, you're writing lines in yeah. here because that's where you're going to put the dowels. Yes, that's where I'm going to put the dowels. What's the joiner called? I forgot. It's just called a dowel jig. Dowel jig. Yeah, and all it okay. does is it it measures the hole for you, so the hole's the same no matter where you put it. Okay, doke. So there, that's the jig itself right there. So um, you just screw it onto the end of the wood. And right. Put the little. Does it come with that little piece of drill right there, or is it just like a little guard? It comes with the drill you bit. You should do it comes... a review of that. I can do that. Because I don't know what the heck you're doing right now, I'm gonna, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, basically, it's just drilling out holes nice and even. So I'm going off the lines that I made all the way across with that big square I had. Mm -hmm. And then all the holes are going to be in the exact same place. So that the one piece of wood's not higher than the other. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. And that would be a lot of work to fix. Yes. So this is pretty nice. And then you're putting way too much glue on. I yes. I love using way too much glue. I know you do. So that when you when you squeeze them together it splatters all over the place. Like a sandwich. Like yes, like a sandwich. <laughs> a big messy sandwich, mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Oh I think you just like to use your router to like take off the glue the next day. Oh, or my the planer. My planer. The hand planer, yes. I love my planer. I know you do. I love just any planer. I love hand planers. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. It's just, it's relaxing. It's, it's a, uh, what do you, what do you call it when something? Meditative? Yeah, I guess it is. It's meditative. Meditative? Is that right? Me Medi? Meditative. Tative. Meditative. Like a potato. Med Meditative. Yes. <laughs> so you glued them all together 
and they're connected with their dowels and now you're going to use just one or two clamps to close this up or right. like 17 <laughs> <laughs> it's 52 inches of wood yeah but I, I, Are you I like afraid planting. it was going to rise like a zombie in the night and come get you? Or like bread baking in the oven? Like, <laughs> no. I've seen that episode. <laughs> oh my gosh. There, here's more. There's, <laughs> I mean, put a little more in there. Yeah, some across the top. Some, you don't have to use this many. People that are viewing, is this necessary or is this like... Is that <laughs> it's totally necessary. Look at that. I'm excited. You see that? You see that? I'm like excited. You look sad that you don't have more. Clients. I know. I need more. That's what I was saying right there. I need more. Right there. I just said if I had more, this, this would have been day? even better. This is the next day. <laughs> yes. And we are inspecting. Oh, I found a hand planer. Yes. I love it. So relaxing. We should call it Waldo. What? Waldo the hand planer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, maybe you should sand it. That's a good idea. You, you know, I could have just sanded down the glue if, if you because it was nice and flat. But sometimes when he sands and he doesn't just go back and forth and he goes in those circles, it drives you crazy. It hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> now he's putting on my favorite part. This is the edging. It's kind of like the frame around the seat, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these boards are really nice. I really those are it's, four and a half inch boards. The four and a half inch boards and. When you go to Home Depot, they have a big stack, so you kind of pick through and find, find the ones the you one. like. Yeah. And then, because you're going to be looking at it. So, <laughs> you want the ones you want. It's got character. <laughs> you know that's your bench. Are you just gluing them on? Uh, no, I'm going to use nails, too. Uh, well, first I'm going to use staples. <laughs> <laughs> this this is just, I'm, I'm seating one in right now. Did you see how nervous I was there? Because like, I actually, like, I don't want to sit on this. I'm like, I stand on that. <laughs> Yeah, a little glue, some bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gluing them on just to hold its shape. Yes. Okay. The, oh, hello. And this is uh, my pneumatic stapler. But you could totally use a regular stapler, or just mm, nails. Maybe, maybe you could just use nails or oh, screws to be fine. Oh, very cool. Yeah, but my pneumatic stapler. I just really like my pneumatic stapler. It's meditative. It's no, it just makes loud noises, which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely know not, not meditative. To go in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. Beautiful. You're just gluing them all over. So I'm yeah, and then I'm stapling them in place, staple all the edges together. I'm gonna go back over and put some brad nails in too, just to make sure that it's got some strong bonds in there. It's so. really nice. It looks like a little drawer. I wouldn't mind those underneath our bed on wheels. That's actually a really cool idea. Isn't it? Because that, yeah. that would be great for shoes. That's brilliant. We should do that. Or deeper I, ones for guitars. I like it, I like it. Then you can just roll it out. Oh, there's my brad nailer. <gasps> Is his name Brad? Uh, no, his name's Porta Cable. Oh. Waldo does not like that. <laughs> Waldo says that's a really convoluted name. But he says, "Where's Porta Cable?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, is he, I'm uh, right now. I just use this is two what by is two. This, for? this is for the legs. Oh, awesome! And this is two by two, which actually measures out to one and a half by one and a half. We've had this talk before. Yeah. So, in the store, it's two by two. If they cut fabric like that, people would riot. Oh yeah, they'd be so mad. Oh my gosh, that's not a two by two. It's a one and a <laughs> half. That's like but any any lumber you get. Twenty five percent. Yeah. Fifty percent. What is that? Uh, it'd be twenty five percent. Twenty five percent of yeah. two inches, but it's nowhere near that. So it's like thirty three percent. I well, don't even know. And when you're going eight feet long, that's quite a bit. That is. Yeah. Gracious. But they. What so they, we're just gluing them into that corner. There. Uh huh. Yep. This is just held on my glue and bubble gum again. I'm yeah. lucky to be alive. I literally <laughs> stand on these regularly. No, I'm gonna use brad nails on this too to hold it in place. These brad nails—they're two-inch brad nails. They're super strong. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, you got to be careful when you're doing this. Make sure your hands not from where you're you shooting. You should really put a brace in the middle there. I do. Actually. I know, I saw it. 
And these are the side braces that go on the side of the legs. Oh! I do so this. So you're taking those two by twos, if you could call those, measuring them out between the legs. Uh huh. And then fitting them in there. How are you making them stay? Uh, well, they they fit so snugly. I just kind of tap them down into place, and then I'm going to glue them in. Same thing. I'm going to brad nail them in. Nice. So, and then what this does is it prevents the legs from falling inward, which is nice. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Bad moment. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to, you know, fall down or anything. Right at the end of prayer before the meal. Right. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, because we can easily sit three people on this. Oh, easy. We have a really long table. We got this table at Ikea that telescopes out. It's not like a regular um, leaf. It, like, literally just... Yeah, you just pull one in and it pulls of out. And it comes out three feet farther and we had no idea we'd have the leaf out in the elongated way like all the time but we do so these benches are fabulous yeah everyone seems to really like the benches so that's why we had to make another one Uh uh-huh and it's quite lovely it matches Mm -hmm. um a lot of the other stuff we have in our house so Mm -hmm. that you made yes because we like the stain we, we put on this. We really like mixing special walnut. Oh, check this out. And dark walnut stain. So if, if you see, when I'm putting this brace in between the legs, mm-hmm. I use a little block. And that just makes it so I'm getting the same length from the top down every time. Mm, not a fan. So, <laughs> so like in this case, I just got a four and a half inch block and, and uh, I just put it there in place so you can see where to actually put it's the beautiful the brace and now what and now we're done we got to put together we're not done it doesn't look like that well we got to do some other things but it's actually put together now okay good and there we are you should stand i'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure don't it's do safe. it i'm sitting oh my on gosh, it i'm it's doing it glue it's safe <laughs> <laughs> all right, look at all that wood filler yes it's a lot of wood filler because i use a lot of nails mm. so and that wood filler is a minwax. It's it's uh it goes on so easy, and it's easy to sand off too. It dries in like five minutes. Sorry, I'm just looking at you sanding against the grain. Oh, oh don't gosh. look, don't look. And there's a lot of sanding. Look, I'm, I'm hand sanding. Oh, look at with the grain. With the grain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so that I use like a 200 grit with that hand sanding, so made it nice and smooth. Oh. Many time, many time. Here it is. Best part. Special <gasps> dark. So satisfying. Special what are du- you doing with your hand? I, I made a mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the bottom of the can, so I had to get my hand in it. Which one? Do you need more of one? Uh, this is the special dark. This is the special dark. Oh, well, it's one or the other. It's either dark walnut or special walnut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Special walnut. Okay. I said that completely wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but the special walnut, it, it's awesome special walnut's got that red tint to it yeah but then i need the dark walnut to kind of cool it off because i love a cool tone you can see down here is actually on the underside i did dark walnut because i had a lot more dark walnut i love that and then now i'm just going over the special walnut with with the dark dark walnut walnut. and it is beautiful let's Mm -hmm. just give this a moment wow now soon you're going to be making a poor choice and using the polyacrylic instead of the polyurethane um yes yeah, so, so the first one i did we used the uh polyurethane mm-hmm. and i wanted to use the polyacrylic because the polyacrylic is a lot easier to use mm-hmm. it's less smelly it dries faster it's true but we have the satin finish and it's just so i mean he likes it because it's dull but oh pause for here oh see the closer one is the. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did it. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, you did. Ah, it's us. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs>